Now we're on the letter Q. And uh, Dr. Seuss, good old Dr. Seuss, uh, what he comes w up with is the Queen of Quincy, wherever that is, whether it's a county, uh, a borough, a street. But there's the Queen of Quincy uh, with a quacking quackaroo. Sounds strange to me. I guess she, she might live in New Orleans, you know, or somewhere in San Francisco. I'm not sure. But anyway. My take on Q, maybe a little more educational. Quotidian, for bores we can't bear. Quixotic, for you oddballs out there. Quibble, for you nitpicking losers. Quantum, for you interstellar cruisers. Q, a letter most quaint, though paranoid through and through, since this timid little letter is always being followed by you. You can quote me on that. The Queen of Quincy, indeed. A lady you'd like in the sack, though she was once quite a steed when she was a guy named Jack. Turning now to R, little R, big R, Rosie's Red Rhinoceros. Doesn't that sound preposterous? Too bad preposterous doesn't start with an R. Uh, R is for raunchy. Risque, so I've found. As you will see, upon flipping it to the left, then upside down, which will clearly get you VD. Look at this rhino. Rhino, rhino, one of the meanest. And is that a horn or a big red penis?